Hey YouTube, XBMC Nut here again. I wanted to, um, after flashing this on off uh, with ESP Easy, I wanted to show you some of the design quirks that are not ideal with the Sonoff Touch, um, particularly when using it um, in a New Zealand or an Australian uh, wall socket or a, uh, one of these gangs. Um, I don't know why Sonoff made the unit go sideways. Um, I've travelled around the world in, in my years and um, I don't know that I've ever seen a light switch that's orientated horizontally like that, even in America. Um, they're vertical, well, as far as I can remember, but um, yeah, we use vertical ones here in New Zealand and Australia. And, I mean, it's not an issue because the unit still fits into the gang box. Um, but, of course, the writing is sideways, which is no real big deal. But I'm, I'm still perplexed as, the, as to why they made it sideways. And um, so this is the US version. The EU version that's square um, would be no good for uh, the New Zealand flush boxes. So I had to buy the US one. Um, so that's the first issue. Um, the second issue is that this plastic box, um, it fits over there, um, but at the moment the screws are actually screwed all the way in. So if I actually screwed those out uh, to allow for, that's about halfway, allow for a little bit of solid wire, about halfway, and that one's halfway there. Um, that actually still just fits but it's very very tight but if you have a metal uh, wall box which unfortunately in my house I do and what the builders used to do before the jib was on is they would put a nail through here right through the middle and into the, um, the stud on the side so getting these boxes out is a mission because the nail goes through so you've actually got a hacksaw through the nails, so that's the problem I'm faced with because you cannot use one of these because if I try and fit that on there <laughs> as you can see the live connections are going to be touching the metal flush box so that is somewhat dangerous so these have to go so I've got a bit of a challenge ahead of me there um, the next issue is that in order to mount this on here and mount that on the wall, you've actually got a frame that has got the holes in it. So if I just pull that off here, there is a plastic frame which needs to go on. And as you can see, when I go and try that, pull that plastic frame off, it won't come off when the screws are halfway out so the screws are actually too long so I need to have those all the way in which of course is not possible when you've got wires in there to get this off so I get that back off and even then it's still tricky to get it over the screws yeah so that's the plastic frame that they supply you with and <clears throat> that will allow me to screw it onto there and the holes actually match up perfectly which is ideal but of course if I mounted that on there and I had loosened these screws off to put the wires in so I'll do that where you can see the, the thing so I'll loosen those off pretending there's some wires in there and then I try and push it into the flush box it doesn't go it's too big so I'm either going to have to cut the screws down which I'll probably do and then I may need to also trim some of the section in here with my Dremel um, which is a pain in the ask me no questions um, to have to do that so I wish they would change that design now what I could do is this actually fits in there without um, the frame on so in theory you don't need the frame at all but if you look closely here I could mount this part because this actually comes off as well the glass panel use the right screwdriver if I get that glass panel to come off which does come off so you've got the separate touch section there so what I could do is just ditch that plastic frame and mount that on there but now I have to drill holes um, through here which is doable but 
Let's come back. I don't know what the video stopped for some reason. Um, maybe it's because I'm in quad HD or something and it packed a spazzy. Um, but yeah, if you put the plate on there, there's actually a, a little gap in here. So if you mounted this flush against the wall, then the glass cover is actually not going to clip on correctly. So um, unfortunately, it does look as though you need to use this. Um, which means some trimming is required. So those are the quirks with the sign off touch. Hopefully those they fix those in the next version, make this slightly narrower so it fits into here, screws a bit shorter, and um, yeah, then we'll be good. So um, some hacking ahead. Thanks for watching.